Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Profound Cloud. Hello, this is Michael from Profound Cloud. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to place images inside of Google Spreadsheet cells using the image spreadsheet function. Now, if you've been using Google Spreadsheets, you probably already realize that you can insert an image using the insert image menu option like so. So let's say I was making a list of company names and logos here. This is all well and good until you try and do something like insert a row or delete a row or resize a row because when you insert an image using the menu option it's actually just placing the image right on top of the spreadsheet which is I find most of the time not what I really want. What I'd really like to do is place this image inside of the cell and have it stick with the cell. So let me demonstrate how to do that. We're going to use the image spreadsheet function. And we want to put the URL in quotes in between our parentheses in the function. I just grabbed the URL from our Twitter logo. Now you can see the difference here. The image has been placed inside, inside the cell, and it's actually fit to the size of the cell, which is really nice. If I was going to go ahead and add to this list, I can do so easily. Show you another example. There we go. So I have this nice kind of uh, list of images that can stick together. And this is useful, I think so much more useful than the menu function. Now there's another parameter that you can put on this which has to do with how the image is scaled inside the cell. So by default the image is placed inside the cell um, at the scale of the cell. So it'll actually get larger as I make the cell larger um, but it always maintains the image's aspect ratio. So in some instances you may want something different. So for example if you put the number 2 as a second argument, it'll actually stretch the image to fit the cell. So if that's the kind of look you're going for, then that can be very helpful as well. Similarly, you can put option 3, and option 3 always respects the original size of the image. So whatever size the image was when you imported it from the URL, that's the size it's going to stay, and it's not going to stretch or change at all. And there's one last option, which is option 4. And option four allows you to actually set the size of the image. So let's say I just always wanted this image to be at 50 by 50. I tell it 50, 50 after the four. And it'll make sure that the image stays at that size. So there you go. I think you'll find that to be a, a much more useful and practical option for inserting images in spreadsheets.